Quapiti Scuri Day from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Quapiti Scuri is a traditional festival dating from the early 19th century observed by people in Lanark, Scotland, on the 1st of March to celebrate the approach of spring. Local children gather around the local Lanark Cross Kirk, where at 6pm the wee bell is rung. This is the starting sign for the children to run around the church in a counterclockwise direction, making noise and swinging paper balls on strings above their head as they run. It is no longer a race for safety reasons and to increase fairness for the younger participants. After three laps, they scramble for coins thrown by members of the community council who host the event. The community council also hosts a Huppity Scurry storytelling festival and art workshops after the event until March the 7th. Origins While the origins of Huppity Scurry are shrouded in mystery, there are several theories which try to explain how the ancient custom evolved. The most common theory is that Huppity Scurry came from a pagan festival that was intended to celebrate spring and frighten off winter or evil spirits. Others believe it marks the time when days got longer, allowing curfews to be lifted or changed so children could play outside longer. Another theory connects the event with an ancient religious penance in which the penitents were whipped three times round the church and afterwards scurred or washed in the nearby River Clyde. The celebration could also have been instituted to remember the murder of William Wallace's wife. The tradition was first mentioned in a local newspaper, the Hamilton Advertiser, around the mid-nineteenth century. It was still called the Wee Bell Ceremony, suggesting a link with the ringing of the church bell. In 1893, the advertiser first referred to the custom known as Huppity Scurry, which simply became Huppity Scurry the next year. The three laps around the church were also first mentioned in 1893, although the writer claimed this custom was 120 years old by then. The advertiser also reported on how the local boys in those days rolled up their caps and tied them with string. After the bell rang, they would march to New Lanark, where they would fight the boys coming in the opposite direction. By 1880, it was not uncommon for stones to be thrown, so the police posted men along the road between the villages to keep order. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl dot html